So look, bro, look, if this is your first time, first of all, I ain't got to do no intro. If your first time over here, this is a podcast, nigga. But other than that, um, do got to explain it, and I am going to explain it every video because you got, look, you got new people over here all the time. Averaging like 3,000 subscribers a day, so if your first time over here, what's up? But to my squad, if you watching this podcast, you see me looking down, and I keep on saying to my squad, to my squad, meaning the homies, the people I love, the ghost gang, right? I'm talking to the live stream, a live stream podcast at the same time. Other than that, Michael Reed, what's up? Danish, what's up? Tyler, the creator, the fake one, what's up? Sean Two, Justin Miller, Anthony Galagas, OMB. What's up to everybody, man? If you over here watching it live, go like the video. Likes is motivation, you know what I'm saying? This channel right here, you can go ahead and donate if you want to. I don't ask you to, but you can if you want to, because that keep, you know what I'm saying, keep the nigga motivated, but the likes actually show that they messing with you. Other than that, we're going to talk about the last podcast, um, with the phone calls, all right, and I ain't talking about the rappers, I'm talking about the regular phone calls. After I got on here, and this is what I be telling y'all, bro, if y'all gonna put y'all number down, if y'all want me to call y'all, you gotta do it like two or three times because the chat be going up and I can barely see the shit. So, um, I got a lot of people on my Instagram hitting me up, like, bro, you biased, you sexist, you asking why you ain't hit me, and then I got, I was like, look, I need the females on this one because I wanted to have a female conversation. I be getting tired of talking to you niggas all day. And then was the ones that was really hitting me, like, bro, I dropped my number, you was all cap, I really had something to say, whatever the case, so. If you ready, you go ahead and drop it two times. Other than that, I just got off YouTube, like I do all the time. All of us watch YouTube like a motherfucker. And I was seeing Tory Lanez, bro. I ain't got the nigga on Instagram. Tory Lanez, my boy. I talk to him in the DMs all the time, but I don't follow, bro. Like, nigga, does this... Your life and my life don't co... Not interesting, nigga. You know what I'm saying? But I seen um, Tyrese, the OG, straight out of LA. Y'all know who he is. I said he up there finna drop an album, whatever the case. He say he finna drop the album and Tory Lanez do what he do with everybody else. Like, bro, you finna drop the album oh yeah? Well, that shit garbage. What's up? I can rap, I can sing, I can do what it, you know what I mean? <coughs> JTF, good looking, what that E mean? Good looking on it too, bro. I think that's like from London or something. But yeah, Tory Lanez, he was up there like, I'm not feeling this shit, straight up. Nigga, you garbage, you washed up. And I noticed what Tory Lanez like to do. If he know, look, bro, if you falling... He gonna, he gonna, he gonna, he gonna, look, he gonna kick you while you down, nigga. I noticed that type of shit. Tory Lanez is petty, and he know that he got fans now, and he know that he talented like a motherfucker. The whole thing with, uh, with, uh, nigga, he was just, 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 the little short, light skin nigga, what's his name? That, that's why I told y'all, bro. I don't be, I don't be capping when I be doing the reactions. Who, Don Q. <coughs> <coughs> The shit he uh <coughs> did with Don Q, to me that was easy. People got mixed emotions. Oh yeah, that was a tie. He lost, he won, but to me that was easy, bro. Don Q, he not on that level like that. If he was, his fans ain't really rocking with him like that. And when you rapping, hey, good looking out on the donations, bro. I love y'all for that one. And it's crazy how the UK rocking with me more than the US. That's another uh, E. But anyway, uh, Don Q, he just ain't got it, bro. I'm keeping the 100 with you, Ed. And I'm going to be real with you. That nigga's a, he's team light skin, so I want to root for him all the way. You know what I'm saying? But as far as the flop, he ain't got that, that oomph to make him a superstar. You know what I'm saying? Other team light skin, Jordan Lucas. That boy can spit. And it's crazy. These are people that Tory Lanez, I'm not naming them like that. You know what I'm saying? He can spit, bro. Cool personality, but he will never be a superstar. Jordan Lucas ain't got that uh, factor. You know what I'm saying? He ain't got that. 
And then I seen him when he was on Everyday Struggle, bro. You know, he know, I'm not, I'm not trying to call him a clout chaser by far. You know what I'm saying? But we all know, bro, him and Logic is on two different levels. Two different levels. What's smart on his behalf? He said Don Q could spit. I just say Don Q couldn't spit. Y'all got to understand, bro, it's a difference between underground artists. It's a difference between rappers, musicians. Niggas that, look, niggas that's popping, and then superstars. Don Q is not a superstar, is what I'm trying to tell y'all. You know what I'm saying? But when uh, old boy was on Everyday Struggle, which was a smart move, because even with me, bro, let me tell y'all something that happened. This was when I first started YouTube. I was beefing with this one nigga. Not a little beef, we made videos back and forth. He had 100,000 subscribers, I only had 16,000 subscribers. I read a lot, bro. I said that to say this. You never beef with a nigga that's beneath you. And I ain't trying to say beneath you as a male or a person that's a man, period. You know what I'm saying? But I had 16,000 subscribers. He shouldn't have responded to my shit at all. That was that was a no-no, bro. So with Jordan Lucas, you're not finna go at nobody smarter than you. Shooting... For logic is what you're supposed to do. You want that nigga spot. You want his fans. You say you can spit, and you know you can look. Yeah, you know you can spit. Somebody beefing with my favorite rapper. I want to hear what he got to say. And if he can spit, I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, I'm over there, bro. Okay, he, he nice. I still rock with him, but if he drops something, I'm still listen. Now you got a new fan. I ask. Look, I don't do surveys and no shit like that. But I do ask a few people because y'all know I be doing this hip-hop shit. And I want to see what the people in the streets. Nigga, the streets is hip-hop. You ain't got the streets. You ain't got nothing, bro. At all. He said Blueface got arrested. Yeah, I know, bro. You ain't got the streets at all. So, every time, if I ask somebody, no lie, you know who Jordan Lucas is. You heard anything from Jordan Lucas? Do you know a song from Jordan Lucas? They don't never give me a song from him. They only give me the beefs he with. Oh, yeah, I heard that uh, when he went at the one beefing with Tory Lanez. Oh, the one after the Logic Get Out. Or they come at me. You talking about old boy that remixed that song to uh, Woo Woo Woo. Oh, you talking about the dude that remixed that uh, that little pump and this little pump and he ain't got his own identity, bro. That's why he gonna always. It's not gonna go. It's not gonna go where it's supposed to go. Straight up. But the thing with Blueface, bro, um, with Scanners, I didn't run the video because when I found out about it, I was already out. And I'm not finna run all the way home so I can hear up and get this video cracking, and then I can come on. You know what I'm saying? So with Blueface, this how they say it. <laughs> Scanners, I hate help. I hate LAPD. But look, him and his homies, like you supposed to do. If you a rapper, bro, and you up in L.A., if you out at night, you're going to have all your homies with you. For sure, for sure. So, the police, they say they get a call. You got a grip of dudes out here, whoop de whoop whoop and a rapper Blueface out here. Um, We don't want him to get robbed. We don't want nothing to happen to him. Someone need to get out here fast. The police say they come to the scene because they're trying to protect Blueface from getting robbed by everybody else that's around him. Yeah, right. They pull up on him. He have a burner on him. Then he the one that get taken to jail. Nigga, if you're trying to protect me, bro, if the police call, that's just like saying right now. What's your name, Steven? I'd be like, call the police real quick, 911. Hey, Steven finna get jumped by, by nine dudes real quick. Y'all need to get over here. And you see Steven standing in the middle of everybody that's about to jump him. The police not finna pull up, arrest Steven, and search this nigga. Like, yeah, we heard you about to get... No, we about to press everybody else. But what the police do, they pull up and arrest Blueface. Come on, man. He don't knock that shit off. And he been in jail out there. And he just had another gun case where... Look, bro, like two months ago. Two months ago. He was on the freeway, got into with some niggas on the freeway. They had back and forth words, whatever they catch them dudes pulled out a gun, blue face in his home, he start busting at him on the freeway. 
He on the freeway all laying out LAPD had him. So they know who you is, bro. And as far as the rappers up in LA, nigga, that's quick money. You know how much. And everybody always be like, uh. Everybody always be like, man, them rappers just clowning. They ain't got. I swear to God, the LAPD look at it like that, bro. Like, these niggas is really doing shows. In two weeks, you can make their whole salary in six months. You know what I'm saying? And then you clown on them on songs, saying you ain't messing with them. You got guns, you got burners, you got females. You riding in cars, they never drive. They hate that. And then come to find out you only 22? Nigga, let's take this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? They don't like that shit. The police don't like it at all, bro. And I be... It still lives today. The R word. And I don't even want to say it because YouTube be on that bullshit. Be trying to copyright the Yeah. Nah, it's it's different though. I'm gonna make some. Hold on. Go ahead and drop the numbers. I'm gonna make some phone calls, man. And we ain't. And look, we ain't finna do no rappers right now. That's gonna come probably like a little later on up in the. You know what I'm saying? Because that, that last punny, uh, punny, that last podcast was funny as shit. <laughs> Now what you talking about, folk? My girl, folk? She she don't want to put her name right there. Fine. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. And again, I tell y'all this because it happens all the time. If you put your number up here, it's going to be me that call you. Do not be like, who this, Ghost? Uh, no, no, y'all don't even do that. Y'all just be like, hello, who this? What's up, this Ghost? Ghost from where? Like, on some weirdo shit. But we finna make some phone calls right now. Pick up. To complete your call, you'll need a Metro PCS calling card. Available for purchase at most Metro PCS locations. But you ain't, you ain't got your, your phone on work, motherfucker? How you gonna get busy with your number and your shit don't even work? Mm. All right, look, this is the thing about 21 Savage that I don't like. Um, he didn't smoke nobody. He didn't rob nobody. He didn't rent nobody. None of that shit, right? But yet, he's locked up so well, his visa expired, whatever the case. They treated him like he'd been lying, son. You know what I'm saying? Right now, 21 Savage is on 23-hour lockdown. Right now, 21 Savage is on 23-hour lockdown. I mean, you get one day out your little, one day out your, the room is like, it's, they, they got them, what, eight, eight, eight by sixes, bro. Not lying, 10, 10 by eights or some shit like that. 23 hours in that room for no reason. And if his visa is expired, who, who, who fault is it that y'all missed it for fucking 14 years? What is 2006, 2000, oh, 13 years. That shit got me hot. And, and, and mind you, the jokes is funny, all right? But as far as, like, the system, bro, that shit got me hot. And if Trump want to go ahead and uh uh be on the good side, you know what I'm saying? Probably get, like, because out of 100 points, he negative 10 with us. Y'all already know how we get out. But if you want to be negative 9, bro, call up there. Hey, that, that 21 Savage, y'all. This thing is a wrap. And if Trump want to... Hey, let the nigga out of here one time so we could, you know what I'm saying? Free 21 Savage. This one dude, look, every time somebody go to jail, free 6ix9ine, free Kodak Black. These niggas actually did something. You know what I'm saying? 21 Savage, visa expired, and he's on 23-hour lockdown, bro. His visa expired, and he's on 23-hour lockdown. Think about it. Scandalous. <laughs> and even if he did, look, I, I say he jumped somebody. <sighs> say he robbed somebody. This was 13 years ago. You mean to tell me the government is just washed up? Y'all, 13 years, nigga? As a famous rapper who's in everybody's face, getting millions of views, selling albums, nigga? Best believe the IRS know who, look, they know who he is as much as, as much out money he bringing in. They knew who he look. They knew who he was. That 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 first year, Drake bought him a Ferrari. 
I'm being real with you. This shit is good. Boy, oh boy. Well, free 21, I see um right now. Look, Hov got a lot of weight. You know what I'm saying? I need a name pull a lot of weight. Jay-Z got involved. He hired some lawyers. You know what I'm saying? He trying to he 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 trying to help out the situation. The only thing we can do, which only take like a few minutes, is right, sign a petition or whatever motherfuckers have going around. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mike, good looking out. Hey, Sherry, you 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 cap. I, I wasn't trying to blast you at first, bro. But I'm the one that just called you and they said I needed a metro car. Stop telling me I'm not finna call you, bro. I'm I'm good. I'm not even finna call you. Yeah, that was her. It's her name Sherry up there. Y'all go call her number or something. I don't give a fuck. You know. But go ahead and drop it. We're gonna get it in. I know some of y'all, and I need some good moderators too. OG Sadie, what's up, bro? Yeah. All right, my bad. And please, if you pick up the phone, do not have a fucking podcast, the live stream playing in the background where it's double play, where we can. You know what I'm saying? What's up, bro? Man, what's up, what's up? Oh, that's crazy as hell. I did not think he was going to call. Oh, so why you put your number then? If you didn't think I was going to call, why you put your number? No, I didn't think he was going to pick me because everybody was spamming, you feel me? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you at, bro? I live in uh, Tennessee. Uh, Tennessee? Yeah, Tennessee. You... Tennessee. What you do? What where you what you do for a living, bro? Cause I, I was about to say some incriminating shit, but I don't wanna be, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just I just turned eighteen, but uh yeah, I watch your channel and check this. I follow up on all the rap shit. A lot of people are tripping over the twenty one stuff. You not you not tripping over the twenty one shit? I mean, they're saying, you know, they're basically trying to make him out seem like he's a punk because he's from the UK. But at the same time, you know, he he he, he went to Atlanta at seven years old. So, I mean, he's been living there his whole life and shit, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, oh, I thought you were trying to say that like, tripping like niggas is over-exaggerating or something. I feel like they're over-exaggerating. You know, they're trying to make them out seem like... All right, see, we on two different labels. We, 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 we cross. I'm thinking you talking about they... So, what you doing today, nigga? <laughs> uh, nah, shit, I just got off work. Where you uh, work at? You 17 with a job? You say you about to be 18? You 17 no, with a job? Thirteen fifty an hour. I wasn't even trying to be in your pockets like that though, bro. Why are you trying to flex? You make a thirteen fifty. That's most motherfuckers. When I was working, I never made thirteen fifty. I never made nothing right. over nine. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. What you do though? How long you think? How long you think six nine gonna get? Six nine going I don't know, bro. I think he he gonna get ten plus for sure, for sure. He ain't finna walk out of that yeah. shit, but. He'll be out in less yeah. than 10. He'll probably get 10 plus and do like 6 to 8 or some shit like that. Yeah, I fuck with him heavy, man. Who, 6 9 You, you, you. Yeah. You one of the, the 6 9ers? I fuck with Tay-K. Yeah. Tay-K? Tay-K's right, man. So you got, with you, with you, you got two of your favorite artists in jail. Which one did you write? Be real with me. I'm telling you, them I letters mean everything we up in jail, bro. I fuck with Tay-K more. Yeah. Damn, the little baby just came out of your favorite rapper of all time. Hey, he putting in work. Yeah, yeah, little baby, he's probably the best artist out right now. Okay. What's the name of his album again? Wait, who, little baby? Yeah. Uh, his new album, uh, damn, Street Gospel. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that shit knock. I heard. <laughs> yeah, Kodak just released uh testimony to us. It says it. You said what? Oh, no, I heard that shit. I reacted to a few songs off of there, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen where you reacted to, uh... Damn, what was it? It was a new sponsor 
video. That shit was hot. Who? The one I just dropped today? Nah, if it's one that just dropped today, I had to delete that shit. I called them, I had to delete it because YouTube been tripping like, they get some videos to your subscribers and some of them, they won't even give them the notification. So when I looked at it, I'm looking like, bro, they ain't even give them a notification. You know, when niggas pay the bread, I want that notification to hit a million phones. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm like, I'm finna delete it, email YouTube, see what they doing. Then I'm just go ahead and post it back two times. I don't give a fuck, shit, whatever. It's cool. Yeah, I was watching he your cool. uh, family channel where you were saying how they're always copyright, uh, copy striking. Yeah, when I first started, not no more though. These labels be well these days. I, I, I won't even do the reaction, bro. Every reaction you see me do, either I talk to that person or I talk to that team. Because I ain't got no time for niggas to try to copyright my shit or strike my ch I ain't, I ain't got no time for that. Because yeah, I, I made me not fuck with that nigga all the way. I, I, I. I I right, 86 this nigga, I right, YBNJ, this nigga so fast, bro. I wouldn't yeah. touch this nigga music video. This nigga gonna bullshit. Yeah, I think, I think where you said you don't want to react to 21 because the Atlantic records are always copyright in your shit. Nah, that's the wrong nigga. I gotta deal with Atlantic. I do 21. That's why I just did, that's why I just did 21. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, I just did 21. Yeah. Nah, 21, cool. Empire, cool. Yeah. Universal, cool, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You fuck with, uh, I you heard of Ruddy Rich? Yeah, bro. Yeah, I fuck with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, TJ Polo G, I fuck with them. Yeah. Oh, you want it, huh? Yeah, yeah. Hey, but for sure. There's a lot of country, there's a lot of country folks down there, a lot of white people, but like, I'm not with the little redneck shit, that's all I do is listen to rap, cause... That's what I grew up oh, with. so you white? <laughs> so that's basically what you said. Nobody, nobody care about that, bro. We don't care. Nigga, we we all got one thing in common. That's the music. That's the reason I'm here. That's the reason you yeah. here. That's the reason the live stream here. That's the reason the podcast here. Red, black, yeah. white, blue, green, purple. Just don't be no bitch. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's all yeah. we. Just don't be no bitch. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but for yeah. sure, bro, I'm going to go ahead and get somebody out of here, man. I'm, I, I mean, All I'm right, going to get yeah, somebody yeah. else over here. You take care, man. Keep up with the YouTube shit. All right, for sure, bro. All right, bye. All right, bye. Nah, that's what I was telling y'all about Uh, when people be doing live streams. I'll be I'm like, niggas be on here. Um, Not the live stream, the little raps and when they be calling or whatever. Like, bro, you cannot be on here just... Hating on a nigga when he's spitting rhymes. Like, how can you... I, don't, I can't sit with myself knowing I like some shit then saying I don't like it. Or knowing I like something and saying I don't like it. Like, that is so corny to me, bro. If you like it and all your homies say they don't like it, then go ahead and be the eye in the room that don't like it. And then vice versa, bro. Why you just can't be a man your goddamn self? I be hating that shit. But yeah, let me get somebody else up in here, though. Nah, Red Kool-Aid Podcast. What's up, bro? You got a podcast? What's up, bro? He said how many? Look, I never say how many blunts I smoke a day because that don't mean nothing because, like, my sister and her homegirls, I swear to you, let me <laughs> My sister and her homegirls on my life, no lie. I can give them two grams of some kush. That's five blunts. <laughs> so they can't be like, yeah, I smoke five blunts a day. Y'all be lit. No, you don't. You 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 taking two grams out of five. That's I'll never say, oh yeah, I smoke this many blunts a day. Woo, woo, woo. I just be like, bro. You know what I'm saying? Probably like a quarter. Some shit, five on a regular day or something like that. He said a couple of G's a day. And this is what niggas got to understand. They be, they be up there like, bro, you be smoking every video. Or you be seeing some niggas when they do YouTube videos, they smoke and they don't smoke. This shit right here, I got turned out at 14, bro. I, I, wasn't, I wasn't like, oh, I need to find some weed. I need to go buy some weed, this and that, this and that. No lie, nigga the homie, lightweight forced me. My mama was always smoking weed. Homie lightweight forced me to smoke some trees. And after that, I'm not like, look, every time I talk to somebody, they'd be like, my first time smoking, I don't like it. 
I went to sleep. Woo, woo, woo. My first time, I couldn't stop laughing. And it was some stress weed, some boo boo, like million C's in it. I understand I was 14, nigga. Y'all niggas was still in nut sacks. I would. Well, I was smoking when the AZ was the best weed out here. You know what I'm saying? Then you had the little crumble weed. Then you had the Doty. Y'all calling it Kush and Chronic now. We had the Doty. And then you had the Kush. All these names and all that niggas be throwing on these millennium babies be throwing all this little bullshit. That don't, nigga, we was smoking Doty, Stress Weed, and AZ. That's it. But once I got my, 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 my little taste of that, bro, psh, and my mama was blowing every day, man, I started stealing her shit. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Me and the homies, and what we used to do, y'all know the school paper, like the line paper, and uh, the blue lines is all the ink, so at the top where you write your name at, we'll just tear that shit off like as long as it's zigzag. Uh, then we roll our tree up and... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Easy. And we on the top of the roof. Young as hell on the roof blowing and was able to get down. That's how you know streets went and all that. Shit went all that potent, but to us, it was life, nigga. I'm not even gonna lie to you. He said he should do the same. Look, I'm telling y'all, these days, bro, these days where you got camera phones, the fuck is that? Uh, where you got camera phones, you know what I'm saying? The internet. What we doing now, everybody doing now. Bro, this is weak as hell. Back then, you only had beepers. And, and, and you wasn't getting no beeper till you was like 25, 30. Nigga, we was outside all day playing basketball all day. We was playing high and go sick. We was playing high and go get it. Y'all don't, most of y'all don't even know what high and go get it is. I'm an 80s baby, bro. Most of y'all, most of Pac Man. Pac Man, bro, it's like. Y'all know what high go seek is, where one of y'all go chase the motherfucker, find everybody. Pac-Man is high go seek on teams, though, nigga. It's 12 on 12. Y'all niggas go on this side of the project. We go on this side of the park. <sighs> high go get it. You know, when you up in your apartments, up in your projects, nigga, how many females stay up in there? How many little badass little boys stay up in there? Yeah, around 8 o'clock, like I said, we outside all day and night. Our mamas want us to be outside all day and night, so what we do? play Pac-Man with the little hoes up in there. And it's the same thing on teams. All females on one team, y'all on this team. If some of y'all, or it's most of y'all that probably don't know what Pac-Man is, that's when you tell the females to go ahead and run somewhere and go ahead and hide. When they hide, and you catch them in a hiding spot, something like hide, go seek, but except y'all go ahead and do whatever y'all want to do. Y'all gonna kiss, y'all gonna Fuck, you gonna give her some hair, she gonna give you some hair, y'all gonna dance. And we used to be out, look, bro, we used to be so ratchet on God with no music, we'd be up in the hallway dancing and shit. Like, <laughs> I'm not even lying, with no music, bro. That's why I don't want no daughter. I don't want no daughter, bro. We used to be doing so much ratchet shit with these little ass girls. Bro, I'm not even, bro. <laughs> I'm not even finna hold you, B. Not even finna hold you. No music, nigga, lap dances, and we all out there like, you know what I'm saying? Finger back. <sighs> I don't want no daughter. And I and, and, and I must have been pretty good cool because they be like, if you do females dirty and you have kids, God gonna give you daughters, this and that, that and this. I got two sons. He looked out for me. <laughs> he got that look. He looked out for me, nigga. I don't even want no, you know what I'm saying? I'm cool. Please don't do that to me. And the crazy thing is, I wanted my first and my second ones to be a girl. Like, let me just get this shit out the way. He said he messed up because he got girls. Yeah, you did, bro. I promise you. God wouldn't give you no girl. That, but yeah, if you wasn't out there thotting and bopping and all that type of bullshit, he wouldn't have, um, he wouldn't have gave you them girls, bro. I'm telling you. You about to feel how they feel. And I'm telling you right now, when your, when your daughter is 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and that young dude break her heart, it's feel like, like it's going to feel like you got your heart broken because that's going to be your little girl. That's going to be your baby. You're going to want to kill her just as much as she is. You gonna go through it when she go through it, bro. Why? 
because you did it to whoever else's daughter back in the days. Nigga, God don't forget shit at all. And that's where we go with the next conversation on to karma, nigga. Straight up, bro. Think you out there doing dirt, getting rich, getting money, robbing, stealing, killing, and it's not gonna come back? Yeah, all right, baby. <laughs> Alright, nigga. You ain't been in jail yet, but you will, trust me. Everybody get caught up, trust me. You gotta do so much good to go. Bro, and, and, and I, I, the energy you put out is the energy you get back. I'm a big believer, big believer, bro, that you can kind of, not kind of, sort of, but you can, how can I say this? You can try to balance out your sins with good deeds. If you know you did all this shit up in the past, you knew you was fucked up. If you got if you got a chance to do something right to somebody, do it right. If you was beefing with somebody, you know it ain't worth it, squash it. You know your next door never meet, look, help them. You know what I'm saying? That type of shit. You able to do, that's what I believe. I ain't telling y'all to go out there and go stand on the corner donating and everything. I ain't telling y'all all that, but my life didn't turn around until I start being Righteous to other people, bro. Especially my people. And I used to think back in the day, like, like, ghosts and shit. Now, I look at myself like, you was a straight bitch, bro. Because, I, let me tell you why I say that. Because, I'm thinking about every situation I was in, nigga. Whether it's me going to a party, me going to school, you know what I'm saying? In my car, in the traffic, sitting at the light. I was worried about other motherfuckers that look like me. A black dude with a hat on, whatever he got on, just wear a mad dog. And he's like, come what the f This nigga is me. We on our day. I, bro, I had a mind fuck to where I almost shed a tear. Like, I'm done. My nigga, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done, bro. I'm done. Nigga, I'm a YouTuber. I'm on the internet. I'm a civilian, nigga. I ain't. Rob nobody in them. I ain't, I'm done, bro. Straight up. I'm keeping them 100 with you. You said it's who? Nah, it's, bro, it's just the way to go, especially when you got kids. Nigga, how, how old are you now? You can't do this shit forever. And if nobody don't accept you or ain't trying to fuck with you, or I can't accept the fact that you're trying to evolve, bro. You ain't shit. Because life is all about elevating life. You are always supposed to continue to morph. You know what I'm saying? So to speak. Always. You can't be that same nigga you was at 18. And now you 32. And still acting like this buster ass nigga. Hey, if you ain't got no smarter, bro. You ain't did nothing better for your life. You ain't doing it for your family. You ain't taking care of your kids at this point. You getting up in age. Then you was a bitch, nigga. And I don't even know why you still getting pussy. These hoes are stupid. You shouldn't you shouldn't be smoking no tree, getting no pussy. You shouldn't be, knock it off. Them niggas is weird. Then they wake up every morning, wanna just sit right there. <laughs> How many people up in this? Bro, Fortnite lit today. 2K lit. That, that's all they good for. And then you got these bummy hoes. Wanna go hand and champion a nigga. They been with since high school. Now this nigga 30 still believing he's gonna do something. But every morning, his foot still up on the couch. He eat when your kids eat. You know what I'm saying? He eating nice snacks. He up here. He, he, man. And these females is the reason, bro. And I promise you. Half these females, not half of them. I'm being real with y'all. And I love my sisters to death. And I ain't talking about my biological sister. I'm talking about the black females, period. Masculine females, period. All we do is lay all they do to be 100 is make sure that nigga look good because we not the ones that's mainly out there making sure the female can just stay up on the couch and we at work all day we doing this and, you know what I'm saying that's not the case bro we sitting at the house while she working all day while she taking care of the kids and then when she get home we expecting her to go ahead and give us some head give us some good sex go to sleep she wake up the next day I'll be doing this playing again she waking up getting the kids dressed for school and all the time what the fuck are you doing bro what are you doing you know what I'm saying? She got to worry about the bills, stressed out on missing this, stressed out on missing that. What are you doing, bro? And I be looking at niggas. That's why I be telling y'all. 
as I, I, I look at niggas like a female. If you don't take care of your kids, I can't mess with you, bro. I do not want them type of niggas around me at all. You ever rob one of your homies before I set up one of your homies? I don't want you around me. You know what I'm saying? How the fuck you expect you to be cool with me or ride for me? You can't even make sure your kids got no kid, no fucking shoes for the sc um, school. Nigga, lunch pail filled up. Nigga, lights. I'm knocking off, man. I be cool on them type of niggas. And they exist everywhere. Oh, God. This nigga said, Goski, you talking about aliens. <laughs> nope. Or yeah. Or no, shit. I'm lucky, uh, my baby mama up here because she gonna holler out, no, don't do it because I can go on for hours about that shit. And I'm not even finna, I'm not even finna get up in that. I'm gonna just say, fuck the government. And now, y'all have started some shit, so fuck it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let me take y'all back to the Roswell crash up in Mexico, 1976. All these sites that you see is real. The government gonna try to hide it. And if you go in too much on it, they gonna do so. I'ma shut up. <laughs> oh, hey, shut up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let me, let me, let me, let me. Shh. What y'all doing today, though? Huh? What we in? Uh, okay, I got to remember the eight-minute mark. What was that, the eight-minute mark? Hey, that's the thing about the live stream, because the podcast, I'm cutting that whole thing out. <laughs> oh, God. <coughs> the thing about the live stream, bro. Cause um, yeah, I just went in on them niggas and I love what I got going on right now and I'm not even finna um yeah, I don't save live streams anyway. And on on the podcast that that, that will be cut out. <laughs> Fuck it. What'd he say? The only thing we talking about from now on is moon rocks. What you smoking? See it. Hmm? <laughs> I be trying to be a moderator. Look, I be trying to be a moderator, bro. But some of y'all don't even be here half the time. And then some niggas be over there that be talking, right? I be like, go ahead and get them out of here. And they still be here. Like, these niggas ain't doing their job, bro. We supposed to be, we supposed to be big chilling. You know what I'm saying? You said everyday struggle. Why? Why you ask me what I think about everyday struggle? What y'all think of? Matter of fact, let's let's, let's 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 get somebody on the phone. Put your number down. I want y'all to tell me what y'all think about everyday struggle. Put it like that. Cause y'all up here keep on asking me all these questions, asking all these questions. Right? Matter of fact, look who look who hit me up, bro. Speaking of answering all these questions, I was like, damn, go so everybody fucking with you right now, nigga. Damn. They gotta follow me, like. Action all them questions. That nigga spoke in reasons. That nigga said he really my biggest fan in the whole world. I was like, that's dope. Who the fuck just put $49? $50. Red Kool Aid Kid, real talk. Hey, good looking out, bro. I'm fucking with you right now. This thing. Is <laughs> hey. Nah, but, yeah, drop the numbers. Because y'all keep on asking me. I think it's good. I think it's good that I go ahead and ask y'all some questions since we all squad, nigga. I can't. Shit, I can ask y'all some. That, that's just like being around a homie the whole time they sitting in the chair. How many people up in here? 459. Everybody's asking questions. <laughs> Look, everybody's asking the nigga questions. And he can't say, shit, man, fuck that. What y'all think? Let me open this up real quick. And it's crazy how I be saying, hey, we squad, but I still got to call y'all block. Because even though, no matter what we talk about, no matter how real we try to keep it, some of y'all niggas going to call me at 4 o'clock in the morning and ask to lick my toes and then hang up in my face. I hate you niggas, man. But, hold on. Y'all be going too fast, bro. 
He said it costs a female. I don't just I don't discriminate and I don't look for no numbers. Nigga, I just look at whoever got the You know what I'm saying? And I see one. He put his number twice. That's what I'm talking about, nigga. I'm not that fast with my eyes, bro. <laughs> I'm not that Hello. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Hey, shout out from Chicago. Yeah, what's up, ghost? What's up, bro? I see you put your number like two or three times. I love that shit, man. What up, though? Shit chilling, what you up to? Yo, this ain't ghost, nigga. You said what? I thought this was ghost. This is ghost, bro. What's up? What's happening, bro? What up? You put your number down. What you got to say about everyday struggle? Where you at first? What city you in? This is ghost, nigga. <laughs> this nigga called me a bitch and said you're not ghost. Oh my god. Who we got next up, though, bro? Oh, I think eight, Yeah. Funny style. Nah, that's what I was saying about the moderators, nigga. The moderators are supposed to be up in here and they got to take care of me. So y'all got to give me like, y'all got to give me like two minutes, you know what I'm saying? I can't find this nigga number. Fuck it. That's them youngest. That's why I said I don't like to put my number because if I put my number and I said what y'all think about it and then y'all go ahead and call in. Them youngers will hit me at like four o'clock in the morning. Hey, my girl right here, you think you could uh you think you could show her how to do it right? <laughs> like what is it? Show her how to do it. Niggas is weird off. Yeah. Nah, you gotta hold it. Hold on. Yeah, then you have everybody calling on some BS. We don't want that. Not everybody's mature enough. Nah, and I did that before on, on like, on some fake shit. Hello? What's up, bro? What's up? What's up, Yeah, what up with you? Where you at? I'm from North Carolina. You said you up in North Carolina? Yeah. What, y'all got a storm out there or am I tripping? Nah, shit ain't storming right now. Ah. Uh, so what's up, bro? What you got to say about everyday struggle? This nigga said North Carolina in the house. No, y'all not. He just hung up. North Carolina ain't nowhere in this motherfucker. <laughs> Niggas is weirdos. I think they think I'm the fine bitch in the club or something. You know what I'm saying? I'm being 100 with you because every time I get on the phone, I ain't never been starstruck a day in my life. I'm being real, but it seemed like if these things get on the phone, if this goes, like, oh, North Carolina, oh, I love you, back. like, niggas is weirdos, bro, these be grown men, they be sound like grown men, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nigga be up there getting off on your boy. I ain't never looked at myself like this. Are these niggas gay? <laughs> Did these niggas... Hey, I ain't got nothing against the LGBTQ. Y'all done added so many letters on this shit. Nothing against y'all. But if, the, if if you niggas are gay, then my bad. Shit, I probably is looking like a snack to you. Little, you know what I'm saying? 
But if y'all not, <laughs> y'all gay now, shit. Fuck <laughs> You gay now, nigga. How you gonna call it? Lift coast? How you go, uh? Yeah. No. Oh, yeah, I forgot we gotta do that, my bad. We blasting numbers. Yeah, don't call with that fuck shit. We blasting numbers. Hey, go ahead and call this number. She had to remind me, bro. Like, you gotta go ahead and blast the number when they do that gay shit. Like, oh, yeah, we, we remember that. <laughs> it's cool, though. Make him change his number tonight. Huh? Yeah, y'all gotta make him change his number tonight, though. Y'all gotta blow his shit up. So make sure you store this number, though. So soon, oh shit, hold on. My bad, my bad. So as soon as you get bored, just call it. And then if you got an Instagram or Facebook, y'all gotta, uh, y'all gotta put this on your status and tell everybody to call it. You gotta make this nigga change his number. <laughs> Fuck it. Huh, that's enough? Yeah, all right, cool. I guess that's enough shit. Fuck it, fool. <laughs> you said call who? Yeah, hey, hey. Red, red, put your number down, bro. Red Kool Aid, put your number down, man. That's who I want to talk to. This nigga looking out. Get Cuddy React. Shout out to you, bro. The highest thing you could do. Who I forgot how that always for how that shit go. The highest thing somebody can do to you is it's inspiring, man. So, yeah, I get that a lot. A lot of people inspire me, so I appreciate that. Thank you. Now, I forgot what we was talking about. What was we talking about, bro? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The everyday struggle get down. Nah, this what I this what it is about everyday struggle. Alright. Nadeska. I think she dope. A lot of people be having a lot of shit to say about it. I think she dope. And she 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 don't really I like Nadeska because she not like the rest of these industry hoes to where she try to dress explicit because she know hundreds of thousands of people watch her every day. She don't try to get in all these little weak ass little relationships for publicity and all that shit. And um, yeah, I, I think she she a cool little moderator. Academics, I know how I feel. He 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 do his thing. No matter what nigga said about him, he been around for a minute. He doing his thing. Wayno, as far as the culture, Wayno always know what he talking about. You can't take that from him. But as far as when it comes to the young niggas and what they doing. Academics gotta take the floor. And he'll hold the floor for at least 25, 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? The episode overall. Cool. I love everyday struggle. I'm fucking with him. Straight up. Yeah, now y'all got my opinion on this shit. You said who? Yeah, but they all the way up in New York. You add me to everyday struggle, nigga. I'm. Damn, nigga, I don't know. Y'all, 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 y'all far as shit. And it's cold. And I ain't got no homies. You know what I'm saying? And ain't no... Yeah. See, there y'all go. Now y'all ask me about the Joe Button podcast. Drop the numbers. The thing start, the numbers start with a zero. Where you stay at, bro? Where you stay at? Yeah. My bad. Hold up. I said Joe Budden. He said, what's the topic? I forgot you can't rewind the uh, live stream. But I was talking about the Joe Budden podcast. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You said Who? Nah, what I'm gonna start doing is calling these niggas first, and if they pick up right here, make sure there ain't no whole shit in it. Hello? 
Hey, my dad, I didn't mean to do that to you like that. Do what? Hello? What you do? Hello? Yeah, what you do? Hey, my phone's both. I didn't mean to do that, though. For real. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Yeah, where you at, bro? Um, you in Arizona, Dr. Lewis. I salute y'all. Rock with you, my nigga. I fuck with your head. I salute you, D. Uh, yeah, appreciate it, bro. Hey, bro, I salute you, man. Hey, uh, keep you. Get the fuck out of here. I'm returning that favor. You hang up on me, I hang up on you. Bang, nigga. Hey, we finna call Red, though. <laughs> he dropped his number right here. Let me get this shit up right. For. No, nah, my bad, nigga. Yeah, my fault, my fault, my fault. <laughs> nah, I got red out of here real quick. You about to holler at bro real quick. Yo, 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 what up? What up? This red? Hello? This red? What's good? Is this red? You say you can't hear me? Is this red? Oh, yeah, I hear you now. Is this, I got you. Is this red? Yeah, it's me. Oh, what's up? Good looking on the donations. I appreciate it. Already, dog. I watch you all the time. Yeah, where, where you at? Where you at? I'm in Atlanta. In Atlanta? Yeah. It's popping out there? Already. I'm from New York, but I'm in Atlanta. Atlanta popping. So what you do for the Super Bowl then? I went to the Super Bowl. I got some shit up. Oh, you did? You supported the motherfuckers? Um, yeah, but that's a whole other thing. You gotta go listen to what I was talking about. What you mean? What you, you did? You, like, you... Alright, let me tell you, like, that they got the whole boycott shit going on, but I don't understand the boycott because you got the whole Trump shit going on, and then you got the whole Kaepernick shit going on, and that confused me. Oh, okay. On which part, though? So, like, it's like... It's so much boycott shit, but the people forgot that we was supposed to be boycotting about Kaepernick taking the knee for the injustice for black people, yada, yada, you know, the police and all of that. But people forgot that because it was so much going on. People started boycotting because this get Kaepernick back in the game because Trump was doing this became confusing. So, yeah, I kept watching the Super Bowl. Yeah, I didn't even, I'm going to be 100, I didn't even watch that shit. I don't like how they did hey, the homie. Like so what's the what's the what's the name of your YouTube channel though? It's uh Red Kool-Aid Podcast. Red Kool-Aid Podcast? How many subscribers yeah. you got right now? Yeah, I got like eight. Eight? Yeah. So what? Your shit is on the rise. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> it's on the rise right now, this shit, huh? <laughs> Already, dog, man. Really I just do this for a hobby, really, and I just like to talk, and I appreciate what you do because you're real. <laughs> yeah, I, I, everything you talk, you just real. You just bring real to us, and we have to support everybody who's real, who gives us real talk, who does the clay with us, and don't right. click fake shit. We just is real, and I support that shit. That's the only way you get real motherfuckers to watch you because everybody doing pranks and skits and all this shit, which is cool for the kids, but not only kids watch YouTube, everybody still want to have a good conversation and watch some good shit. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I appreciate you, though. Good looking out. Man, that's it, man. I just wanted to show some love to the podcast. Look, all I'm talking about is that you asked the question about it. Right. Look, everyday struggle is cool still. I miss Joe Button. Mm-hmm. I respect academics and his platform. But they got to get back to the debate of what the culture is. Right. I right. think they falling into that... Uh, Let's just put anything up. Commercial shit. Yeah. The commercial shit. Yeah, I think they need to get back into showing, you know what I'm saying, the real debate. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. I, the thing about everyday struggle, bro, is it's meant to be a click, not a clickbait show, but they put all of them together because they always doing numbers individually. You know what I'm saying? 
So if you put academics on there, you put Joe Button on there, how it started, them numbers was running up. Them niggas was getting 700,000 a million views on that shit. As soon as Joe Button left, everybody was disliking every video, bro. It was just like, once you split out, not split out, but split up the orientation about it, like the origin of the shit, it just dismantled. Then you had Star on there, and now you got Wayno on there. They keep on... They keep on replacing an old nigga with another old nigga with another old nigga with another old nigga, and that shit ain't gonna work. They keep on doing that, bro. It's just not gonna work. And, that, and, that, and everybody they replace right there in that seat don't know too much about the youth. I could say Wayne don't know more right. than everybody, but as far as like, yeah, they don't know too much about the youth, man. Right. Because it was Joe Button's show, it was his content, it was his And name. it was his idea. And it was his, right. a lot of people don't know that everyday struggle was Joe Budden idea. You know what I'm saying? So, right. yeah, once you take the, 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 like I said, the origin of that shit, it's going, it's going to collapse. You know what I'm saying? That's okay. But I respect the act. I respect the best. I, I respect yeah, academics my nigga. I fuck with act. He know yeah. it. Yeah. And, and, and the desk it too. The yeah. Why don't, all, all of them. I'm just talking about, shit. you say what? I said he get a lot of bullshit based on the shit they gonna want, but I respect his platform. Yeah, yeah, he doing what he supposed to do. He doing what he supposed to do. But yeah, Red, like I said, I really appreciate you though. I really appreciate you. Man, I appreciate it too, man. I just appreciate you talking to me, man. Keep doing your thing. I'm gonna keep supporting. I'm gonna be out here supporting right. everything you do. All right, good looking out. I'm gonna hit me on Instagram. DM. All right. All right. But yeah, she said, no, I'm like, hey, Queen, go ahead and put your number down. I see you been commenting like a mug, too. You know what I'm saying? She, why is it DJ uh, reacts? Not a reactions, bro. That's why I love y'all. I didn't know shit about, I was doing this. Look, I was doing this, but except it was just regular hip hop news. Like, I wasn't, like, doing reactions. And doing the hip hop news, that was summer 2017. That's when everybody was telling me I should try to do reactions. And so, when I seen it was basically, you know, you watching the video, you just giving your opinion on the video. I'm like, man, this shit is easy. And I was watching everybody on the platform, bro. And it's like, oh, he. You know, just like, yeah, I'm gonna do this shit my way, straight up. And so that's why it came on that. He said, vlog your new car. Uh, tomorrow morning, I'm out of here in my new car. I'm going to the Grammys. I'm going to be in L.A. from tomorrow till Sunday. Yeah, tomorrow to Sunday, bro. You said real for real. I'm going to have my vlog camera with me too, though. And I'm going to think I'm going to have enough time because I'm going to just be like, you know what I'm saying, with the homies in the daytime and at nighttime, I'm going to be doing my little YouTube shit. I got a meeting with Empire Friday morning. And then I got the... They having they have they having a separate little Grammy party. Empire is. Um, they got Tiger and them performing all that shit. I'm gonna be there. Said we need the LA vlog, of course, bro. Of course, of course. But look, I'm about to get out of here, man. Thank everybody for going out and watching it. And yeah, that's it. One hundred.